Project Janine, what we want to do is if we're going to make a query, we're going to build a query design. And it looks like all we're going to have, hope oh, this is the right uh, query that we're looking for here. It says on number two that we want a query that includes the customer number, customer name, the amount paid, and the sales rep number. I'm sorry, this is actually, we want to do the customer number, the customer name, and the amount paid for all customers located in Virginia. So I'm going to get rid of this one right here. And we're going to put state. And located in Virginia that paid an amount greater than 1000 So we're going to come over here, and we're going to say this one is anything greater than 1000 And then state is just going to be VA. Equals VA. Hey, you have to do it in quotes. And then if we run this query, we should now have everybody that paid over a thousand as in the state of Virginia. Great. So we're going to go ahead and save that one. I'll save that object as Virginia. I don't know. I'm just going to call. I don't know what it asked me to save it as. Virginia customers. And then the next one, what we want to do is we want to create a query that includes customer number, name, number, street, city, field for all customers whose names begin with a T. Okay, so we're just going to create a new one. I close this, create a new design query using the customers again. Customer name, oops, customer name, street. City fields. And we want all of our customers, we talked about this, anybody that starts with T, so I'm going to do T and then the wild card, and that means anything after that. We talked about that, and that shows us everybody that has a T in their name and starts with it. Hopefully, this helps you do that, and I will talk to you later.